As I promised in the last video, I'll be reviewing the Playmobil Spinosaurus. Well, here it is, the Spinosaurus from Playmobil, in the same 2007 line as the T-Rex. Unlike the T-Rex, this was brought back in the 2007 line, but as an add-on item, which it just comes separately with the baby Spinosaurus figure, which I lost, and um, it wasn't repainted, just the same. But I think this figure is slightly better than the T-Rex in terms of paint job, but sculpt the T-Rex is better, because, see the flat alligator-like head the Spinosaurus has? which it should have a thin snout but the paint job is really good on this thing you see a red sail then brown uh, spots all over it which it stops right here at least it goes more than halfway down the tail unlike the uh, god awful Jurassic World Dilophosaurus and see like the T-Rex no uh, paint on the claws and at least the wrists aren't pronated which is common in a lot of uh, theropod dinos dinosaur toys see four uh, painted spikes down the neck and a brown eye right there which once again has no pupils and like the T-Rex it has like a rubber base for the foot and rubber toes except these are like a uh, white toe white toes not brown toes and like the T-Rex there is no detailing but the paint is magnificent on this thing so see for articulation tails not articulated but very stiff and durable plastic like the rest of the body so articulation one two three four five six and the tongue she makes seven it's really cool to have an articulated tongue so obviously this is supposed to be based off the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus because the 2007 dinosaur line they were all based off of the uh, Jurassic Park 3 I mean Jurassic Park so Again, like the alligator, alligator-like head, which I really don't like on this figure. But I think this is actually a better toy than the T-Rex. But in terms of like passion, T-Rex is better than Spinosaurus. But Spinosaurus is like my second favorite dinosaur of all time. You know, unlike the T-Rex, which the um, legs are more stable and you can put it like in upright position, the legs on mine are fairly loose and you'll just like slide back down. But at least it balances easily because of the uh, stiff feet. See the side view, the side view. And again, I bought like the add-on item Spinosaurus, not the whole set, because the set was like uh, outrageously expensive. So I got the add-on item with the baby Spinosaurus, but of course, since it's so small, I lost the little Spinosaurus. So this thing, when I got, it was like twenty-three dollars, which is a really good price for a giant one-foot toy like this. But fortunately, nowadays it's going for like. 50 to 70 dollars on Amazon, but you'll find it for like around 15 to 20 dollars on um, eBay. Oh yeah, also like the T-Rex, it has a seam line, a visible seam line going down the bottom to the top. See, they use two separate pieces and then clamp them on together. So this, is, oh yeah, forgot to do comparisons. I'll just give them the score right now. I would say it deserves a nine and a half out of ten. Like. A little bit better than the T-Rex figure because of the paint job which I really do like and red is my favorite color so here's another sailed back creature like this the Spinosaurus and the T-Rex are the only Playmobil dinosaurs I have so I think they scale up pretty well pretty well even though Spinosaurus should be way larger than Dimetrodon because he's only like four meters long next his main enemy the Tyrannosaurus Rex yeah, this does remind me of Jurassic Park 3 a lot, because obviously they're based on Jurassic Park. We see uh, the T-Rex is slightly larger than the Spinosaurus. But see the Spinosaurus is like way bulkier, and with a longer tail. Next up is the giant American Alligator. Not sure if American Alligators are this large, but this is like Spinosaurus and Sarcosuchus. And here's like Spinosaurus' favorite, pe favorite prey, fish. Even though swordfishes, Spinosaurus never ate swordfishes. Can't really grasp onto anything. Here's two more things, which is the Great White Shark and the Hammerhead Shark. Not really that much to scale, but I think these sharks can grow up to 20 feet, so... Um, I guess it's a good sizing, at least. So, that's all for this review. Like I said, 9.5 nine out of 10 for this figure. So, if you like this video, leave a comment. Oh, sorry. Leave a comment. Subscribe, and uh, see you next time.